she was on vacation with her husband. And they were scoping out graveyards on the way. As you do when she saw it. Rising out of the old cemetery. Big as an old telephone pole. Was this some kind of piece of art or something? That the authorities hadn't got wise to yet? Even when she stepped out the car, the megaphones on his head started screeching to life. Nine. Eighteen. One. Child. Seventeen. Remove. Vile. A buzzing double voice screaming random words at her. At this point, it jerked into motion, striding down the hill after her. Siren Head is a 40 foot tall creature that looked like a dang skeleton, covered in dried mummified flesh, the color of rusty metal. His limbs are dis- disproportionately long and thin, with his arms as long as his legs, ending in huge bony hands where his head and neck would be. Instead of a thin metal pole, there's a pair of acoustic sirens attached to it. That's why they call them siren heads. And that stretch up from between his shoulders with black wires coiling around a pole and connecting the sirens to the upper torso. These speakers are the only metal parts of his body, fused to the neck by tendrils of skin and capable of swiveling completely around, similar to the head of an owl. Some images depict siren head speakers bearing toothy, lipless jaws and long, retractable tongues. Siren Head, who is sometimes called Lamp Head, and by many other names is a hostile cryptid and an urgent and urban legend. And real, real, real popular with today's kids. I know we grew up looking at it, you know, Michael, Jason, Freddy, you know, Scream, blah, 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 Ghostface, whatever you want to call them. You know, for y'all that's a little more seasoned, y'all grew up looking at Frankenstein, Dracula, you know, the mummy monster, all that stuff. But these kids, man, they grew up checking out Siren Head. There's some photographs that show Siren Head as having multiple sirens or having a street lamp in place of his head. Both of these show that Siren Head either has the ability to change his appearance or better blend in with the surroundings. Or that subspecies of Siren's Head exists. Now, true to his name, Siren Head speakers can play various types of loud noises. Typically, air raid sirens, garbled music, or emergency broadcasts. And it can also mimic animal noises and voices from people it's heard, usually to lure in human victims. Now, some folk going on to explain that Siren Head might be packed up with a loose cassette tape and a tape recorder incorporated into his body. This may be the explanation of how Siren Head captures the sound of his victims and the surrounding sounds which Siren Head replaces as bait. Now, although some fans theories state that Siren Head's sirens and the lamps are artificially attached to his body rather than being a natural part of his build up, you know, on April uh, 25th of 2020, a statement was released on Twitter explaining that Siren Head isn't a man-made creature and that Siren Head has the ability to imitate various human technologies to blend in. It's also been explained that although Siren Head is a physical entity, its appearance varies with each witness. Individuals see Siren Head slightly different, and although the anatomy is always generally similar, being a thin and skeletal figure, with different types of numbers of heads. That's messed up. When you see somebody it look different than everybody else, so that means that he's tapping into what would be the most scary to you. Now, Siren Head isn't a being of our reality. Instead, Siren Head is much different than us and is not limited by our laws of nature. Basically, Siren Head is constantly changing manifestation, which also appears um, different in the victim's view of Siren Head. The information changes all knowledge we have on him, which opens various theories about the creature. It is not known how Siren Head came to have sirens in the distant past before actual sirens were invented. If the laws of our nature, time, and space don't apply to it, it is possible Siren Head may be a being of unlimited power 
all knowing and able to move in any direction of the universe. However, these are all just speculations at the moment. There has recently been revealed many more facts about Siren Head. It is actually the static form of an unfathomable supernatural entity. Despite its lack of eyes, it can still see. It also has the ability to manipulate technology by playing sound through other devices. It's being most of its time standing still, but has the ability to move very fast. Victims of Siren Head have apparently been found with their eyes and eardrums, gums, sinuses, bursts, and bleeding. Man, it's messed up. You somebody can bust your dang gums? Shoot. A description which matches the aftermath of a recent incident where the majority of a town was killed in this fashion. Siren Head was never a person. People cannot be turned into an example of it. Weapons do not normally work on the entity. It's almost never been spotted in populated areas. Despite the teeth in the speakers, Siren Head does not have a need to eat, meaning that it may not, not actually be a predator in the traditional sense. Though there is a contradictory uh, there there is contradictory evidence in this regard. There have also been conflicting reports on whether Siren Head is a lone being or whether an entire species. And interestingly, Siren Head does not seem to acknowledge other animals and seems solemnly focused on humans. His motives are currently unknown and may be completely alien to us. And when asked if people have survived the creature, or if Siren Head has had any worshippers, so it's simply been responded that some um, incident descriptions themselves apply that there are occasional survivors and that's some scary stuff and there is even some people that worship that dang thing me personally I would like to hook my guitar up to it and <laughs> see what that sounds like Siren Head is a very aggressive, monstrous, and skilled predator, which makes it very dangerous and is seen to have some degree of intelligence due to using ta tactics such as camouflaging within the forest and mimicking sounds like voices to have from the lure and have from the lure's prey in. Now, other than that, nothing much else is known about Siren Head way of thinking. Though unconfirmed theories suggest it is the last of its kind, and some might have a strong will to survive. It is possible that the entity developed its camouflage abilities to hide from even more dangerous beings, though again, this ain't confirmed. Now, Siren Head is not above fooling people with their friends' voices and stuff. One site suggests it also blocks out the screams of its devoured victims with other sounds in order to prevent anyone from coming to the person's aid. Now, this, while weapons are not known um, to work on Siren Head, his need uh, to conceal his attacks and generally elusive behavior imply that there may be some way of hurting him. Yeah, that makes sense. Or at least interrupting what he's doing. Now, alternate, alternatively, this may be done to ensure a successful hunt by confusing and disorientating the prey, or it might be just simple cruelty. Now, Siren Head does not always consume his victim as seen in a Siren Head video game meaning it is possible that the entity kills for reasons other than obtaining sustenance. One of the later possible sightings of Siren Head includes a news story describing the aftermath of an unusual never-before-seen never killing tactic. For unknown reasons, Siren Head chose to kill many of the people in the town by bursting their eardrums of soft tissues. It is not known whether Siren Head produces a specific sound to cause such an effect, or it simply made noises that was loud enough to do so. Many of the residents were left behind and not taken by Siren Head, suggesting that Siren Head had started killing large groups of humans for no further purpose. This is the departure from the previous behavior of him, and it normally only stalks and kills individuals or small groups. It is possible that this multi-headed version of Siren Head is a subspecies, or simply a design update. Siren's head, power, and abilities. Mimicry. Siren head has the ability to release sounds or news broadcasts, humans, conversations, sirens, and screams. 
when mimicking a human, a distinctive uh, distortion is in the voices. And that's due to the sound being played through sirens instead of vocal cords or other organic means of creating noise. One report says that Siren Head was able to kill a group of people by mimicking their friends. Another post caption suggests Siren Head can use his broadcast to block out the cries of his victims. The latest sighting shows a five-headed Siren Head using his loud sounds to kill off many people as they were found with burst e eardrums and soft tissues. Now his strength. It is believed that Siren Head is extremely powerful due to the size, his size. And Siren Head is able to break down trees and all kind of stuff. His speed, he was once seen. Uh, a couple reported they seen him. And the couple was driving home until they saw a graveyard and they ended up checking out the graves. And when they saw him, according to the story, Siren Head started running towards them at an extremely rapid pace. Now some say that he is a stronger moving relative of trees, which is the reason why Siren Head can blend inside of a forest and behind a tree. And it can stay motionless for days at a time and blend in with the surroundings. Yeah, now that's creepy, man. That means you can just be leaning against that mug and not even know it. He can clean the ceiling sometimes to make his body blend in with the wires and look like a PA system. Stating that he might have to use the tactic to take uh, several people in Detroit. Wow, Siren Head makes no sound while moving, saying he can be almost completely silent. But yet, another post saying is able to move when someone's back is turned without the person knowing. Siren Head appears to be a shapeshifter, being able to transform his functioning from functioning sirens to street lights. Siren Head once possibly disguised himself as a piece of home furnishing the pipes and the walls to kidnap a family of four and it was able to somehow take them from their home in its new form or lure them without having to enter, as the only sign of their disappearance was an open backyard patio door. The latest sighting shows a multi-headed variation, which could either be a subspecies of the same siren head, creating more sirens to kill off many more people. In some case, siren head may also remove an individual's organs. It is said that somehow his appearance could somehow be incomprehensible to humans, so our eyes see the closest approximation to his actual appearance. However, you know, that ain't really been confirmed. Now, one of his most unique traits is his ability to disguise himself as different people, different pieces of urban stuff, man. So combined with his ability to change his body, it can be real effective in disguising itself as things such as telephone poles and lamp posts. Now Trevor has said that Simon Head can pop in his limbs toward his body, extend his midsection and even cover his arms with wires to disguise himself as a telephone pole, remaining motionless for days to sell the trick.